Mobile City voters get a chance to cast their ballot today and decide who should represent them on the Mobile City Council and in the mayor's seat. WKRG News 5's Gabby Easterwood is on the mayoral race for us tonight as the votes steadily come in. She joins us live from a polling location. Hey, Gabby, how's it going? Hey, Dana, we're here at Bishop State Community College, which is in District 2, and we have seen a lot of people coming in to the community college to cast their ballot, a steady flow of people. And this is actually a very important polling location here in District 2, as well as over in District 1, because this race is really going to depend on how many voters turn out to these two districts, because these are the spots where the vast majority of people in 2017 did not vote for the incumbent. Now, of course, the incumbent we know being current Mayor Sandy Stimson, and he's running for re-election for that third term. His last term, again, was won in 2017 quite comfortably with 57% of the vote. Now, Fred Richardson is also on the ballot, who has represented District 1 in the Mobile City Council since 1997. Now, 12 of those years as well, he served as council's vice president. Now, Carlos Finley is also running. He's a municipal court judge, and he's been there since 2015. Now, Judge Finley is also served as a prosecutor for the Mobile County District Attorney's Office from 2005 to 2008. Now the final two um, on the ballot for the mayoral race being Michael Young. He was a latecomer to the ballot and he is also the founder and the co-chairman of the Gulf Coast Mental Health Coalition. And lastly, the last person that will be on the ballot is a consultant, Donamet Eiley. Ivy, who also ran against Stimson in 2017. Now, if no of those candidates get the majority of the vote being 50% plus, then there will be a runoff election on October 5th. Reporting live in Mobile, Gabby Easterwood, WKRG News 5.